Enggak. Dan kita sih ya SN Now, for large values of n and one by n, uh, that approaches to to zero. What I meant is put the values of one. One is one. Okay, one is equal, n is equal to two, n is equal to three. So it becomes uh, one by two, one by three, okay. one by four. So this becomes uh, goes to zero. That's what I said. Approaches to zero. So we can guess that the sequence, uh, the sequence S n, okay, has the limit. Okay, has the limit. Okay. Now, uh, to prove that uh, limit uh, Sn is equal to zero, we have to show that for each epsilon, okay, to prove that limit Sn is equal to zero, uh, we have to show that uh, for each epsilon greater than zero, okay, there exists, there exists m okay belong belongs to there is there is some variable which is m okay so we call that so belongs to z plus okay positive integer such that that uh, sn minus zero is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n. for all greater than or equal to n. now okay. yeah. now for a given epsilon for a given epsilon greater than zero okay now we have to show that, show that uh, mod of this is less than for uh, n greater than that is uh, is one by n is less than for we have put sn as 1 by n for n greater than or equal to n. okay yes now uh, for n greater than or equal to n let us put that we will put the variables now. For n greater than or equal to m, have now 1 by n is less than or equal to 1 by n. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Now, if we choose, we choose M. We have uh, we have already taken N, which is uh, uh, which belongs to the positive integer, and there exists. We have seen uh, M belongs to positive integer. Okay. So that yes, yeah. So that. So that one by m is less than epsilon, or we can uh, write that as m is greater than one by m. 
you take to the other side. If m is uh, greater than one by epsilon, then uh, we can write that one by n, okay, is less than epsilon. Yes. For all, yes. for all, for all, n greater than equal to n. Right. Right, yes. Yeah. Therefore, for each epsilon greater than zero, uh, let us choose uh, that is M, okay, M, where uh, this is uh, greater than uh, epsilon, okay, we have already seen that M being greater than one by epsilon, right? So this belongs to Z plus. Now such that, such that mod one by N minus zero right, is less than epsilon for all N greater than right right yes yeah. so therefore we can conclude that uh, the limit uh, sn is equal to the limit 1 by n is equal to 0 okay let us therefore sn is equal to the limit one by n zero. Now uh, let us see uh, how the epsilon value, uh, if uh, if it is exists, and uh, let us put since we have considered it is a very lesser value. Okay, let us put that and try to see that uh, what we have uh, proved is correct or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if I consider epsilon as 0 0.01, okay, then 1 by epsilon will be 100. Correct? Correct. Yes. And M is greater than 100. M is greater than 100. Now, if I consider epsilon as 0 0.02. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. If I consider that. Or lesser than that. If I consider 0 0.02. If I consider Okay, less will take less till one by epsilon will be uh, this is two thousand right okay so you can look at this here m Right, you got these are the positive integers. What I wanted to say is there's the value of m we belongs to q plus. And it depends on depends on the given value. On the value on the value given uh, uh, that is it gives to epsilon gives to epsilon okay so you have been given this you had showed that m uh, belongs to z plus is uh, belongs to that okay and it depends on uh, the epsilon okay, okay. yeah So, now, 
let us uh, see this type of system. I have minus one to the power of n by n. Uh, you see, uh, this converges to zero. Now, this SN. Now, now we have considered here the sequence Sn as 1 by n. Now this being the constant, uh, that is minus 1 uh, to the power of n. Let us see. Now if n is odd, you get this. If n mm -hmm. is one. Now, if I put here, Sn will be minus one by n. If n is even, right? So if you put that uh, minus one to the power of uh, one, minus one, so you get this as one, right? So this being n being odd, if n is even, so this is minus 1 to the power of, this is uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, so you get minus 1, that's what I said. When n is odd, when n is even, you get this. Correct? Correct, yes. Now, if we consider for uh, some other, uh, for n to n minus, okay. if we consider it. Now, why I'm doing it, we'll see that. Okay. Is uh, 1, 1 by 3, 1 by 5. Put the values and you get this. Now, these are the subsequences. Okay, these are the subsequences of that. Now, if I consider, uh, if I, I consider 2n minus 1, let us consider the sequence which is. 2n. Okay. Now this is uh, you get minus half minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 and so on. You can also consider uh, s uh, 4n minus 1. You can also consider s 4n like that. You get the same type of series. Now these are the subsequences of SN. Okay. Now what you have to see next is, uh, if you consider this uh, one, one by three, okay, and one by five, like that, and again if you consider this uh, with respect to one by two. 1 by 4, 1 by 6, and all that. This converges to, if you take the positive values of this, okay, if you consider the positive values of this, uh, this converges to uh, 0. Okay. Okay. Now, we have also showed that the sequence which is uh, 2n minus 1 and the sequence 
to n converges to the same limit to zero so uh, we have considered the subsequence is also zero and the sequence is also zero so hence we can say that uh, actually there is a theorem called uh, if the subsequence is also converges to some limit l so that is uh, uh, which is a convergence so that's what we have proved that this the sequence sn converges to zero yes you can uh, this is a part of a subsequence you can consider uh, as i mentioned that s uh, 4n okay s uh, 3n also you can consider but but is this a subsequence of sn okay yeah okay. that's what we have to prove that it converges to zero now we cannot always say that it converges to zero okay yeah. and let us see uh, one more example uh, converges to some l okay Uh, let us see one more example. Let's find M belongs to Z plus that or two N by plus three two. For all n greater than m. Okay, let's try to see this. So, to use that. Fine. Okay. Now, this is mod 2n by n. Let us uh, make a denominator common on the left hand side. So, by that, I get 2n, uh, 2n to n is 2n again, and this is minus, minus, uh, when you by this further. So you get six. Okay. Uh, if I remove mod, okay. so six divided by n less than. So when you remove mod, the uh, sign is always positive. If it is positive, if it is positive, positive. Next one, okay, we we'll solve it. Uh, bring it, uh, if you write, rewrite this, and by n plus 3, divided by 6, is greater than this one. So, this is n. Now, if you take it to the other side, uh, sorry, 30, 30 minus 3 is uh, n. So n is greater than n. Okay. Now, okay. yeah, you found what is n. Now, if we choose, choose m such that uh, greater than 27 that is 
greater than 27 if i consider m as 28 or something near to that okay so we have n 2n minus 2 i for all n greater than or equal to 10. Okay. Uh, for epsilon, this simply epsilon, epsilon is 1 by 5. The value of n is 20. So, in fact, for each epsilon greater than zero, in fact, for each epsilon greater than zero, uh, we can find uh, m belongs to. Then, uh, if you put that one by five as epsilon, if you put that as epsilon. So what is two n by uh, n plus three two less than epsilon? This is for all n greater than or equal to n. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this whole uh, the sequence, yeah, the sequence. Uh, now you can see two, right? So this is a sequence now. This is the sequence. Okay, converges to. Can you tell? Two converges to two. Because epsilon, epsilon, you put, uh, yeah, epsilon, you put whatever the value, it is uh, very, very negligible. So two plus epsilon or three plus epsilon or four plus epsilon. Okay. So it is very, very negligible. You can uh, eliminate. Uh, yeah. So this converges to two. That's what I. So this being the sequence. Yes. Now. 